In my last video, you learned how to use the make a table strategy to convert measurements. This video is going to teach you how to use the strategy of multiplying or dividing to do measurement conversions. This strategy may be a little bit more confusing, but it's also a lot faster once you get the hang of it. So feel free to try it out and then use whichever strategy you are more comfortable with. It's up to you. Okay, so in this problem, Michael buys four gallons of milk. How many quarts does he have? So this is the same problem that we looked at in the last video, but I'm gonna show you a different strategy for solving it. So we still have the same first step. We have to figure out what we're changing from. So he, he buys four gallons, so we're starting out at gallons, and the question asks how many quarts does he have? So we're going from gallons to quarts. Here's where it's different. Our step two is to decide which unit is larger. So we had to figure out are we changing from a big unit to smaller or smaller to bigger. So we need to know which is bigger, a gallon or a quart. So if we look at our chart, we see that one gallon equals four quarts. So let's pretend like here's my gallon. That is equal to four quarts. So a gallon is going to be bigger than a quart. So we are going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. And that means that we're going to be multiplying. And our math chart is going to help us figure out the rule or figure out what we're multiplying by. So one gallon equals four quarts. So we are going to multiply the number of gallons we started with, which is four, times this number, which is also four. Four times four is 16. So that tells us that four gallons equals 16 quarts. So, again, this way is a little bit more confusing at first, but it's faster because you don't have to make a table. Basically, what you're doing is you're figuring out what would the rule be for the table. If we're going to a smaller unit, we're going to be multiplying because we need a bigger number. If we're going to a bigger unit, then we're going to be dividing because we need a smaller number. And then you take what you, the number you're starting with, and use your chart to figure out what to multiply by or divide by. So let's say, let's just do another one. Um, we were going from, we had 24 inches and we wanted to know how many feet. So we're going from inches to feet. So we have inches and feet on our chart and one foot equals 12 inches. So I know that an inch is smaller than a foot. So that tells me that I'm gonna need to be dividing. Because remember our step says that if we're going from smaller to bigger, we're gonna divide. And here in the table, one foot is equal to 12 inches, so I'm gonna divide by 12. So I'm gonna do 24 divided by 12 which equals 2. So 24 inches equals 2 feet. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a challenge. I want you to see if you can figure out how to solve this problem. 3 yards equals how many inches. You can make a table or multiply or divide however you want to do it. But I want you to pause the video, see if you can figure out the answer, and then come back and check to see if you're right. Okay, hopefully you thought about it and you think you know what the answer is, so let's go over it real quickly. So we are going from yards to inches. So if we look at our measurement chart, you'll notice that we have yards and inches up here, but it doesn't tell us how many inches are in one yard. So we're going to have to do two steps to solve this problem. I know that one yard equals three feet, and I know that one foot is 12 inches. So I'm going to go first oops, from yards 
to feet. So I know that a yard is bigger than a foot. So I'm going from bigger to smaller. So I'm going to multiply. And one yard is three feet. So I'm going to multiply this three times three, which is nine. So three yards equals nine feet. That's my first step. But I'm not done yet because the problem asks about inches. So now I'm going to change nine feet to inches. So again, I'm going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit because a foot is bigger than an inch. So that means I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply this number times 12 because one foot is 12 inches. And 9 times 12, well, let's think. I know 9 times 9, or 9 times 10 is 90. I know 9 times 11 is 99. And then you could count nine more and get 108 if you don't have your 12s memorized. So nine feet equals 108 inches and nine feet equals three yards. So I can say that three yards equals 108 inches. Give yourself a pat on the back if you figured that one out. All right, now remember you can use whatever strategy you want when you're working on measurement conversions. You can make a table or multiply or divide or do a little bit of both, whichever works better for you.